Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, King6. Gonna be showing you how to play some Kane Jungle. Now I'm up against a Rek'Sai, so I want to get my word down. Make sure she doesn't invade me. That would be very bad. So in this case, I'm gonna get it down here. So she goes over Dragon Ball, I'll see it. Or if she just walks over, I'll see it as well. Kane, you want a Q start. Then you normally get E, W, Max, Q first, W second, and E last. So on Kane, guys, the main thing you're looking for is farming. And then getting really, really free ganks whenever you can. So in this case, I have my ward down. Silas is probably going to be aggro. I don't need a leash. So on Kane, you can solo start wolves or raptors. It doesn't matter. You can also solo start a buff if you really want to. So in this case, you know, if you were going to do a cheese clear, if you're going to three camp clear into level three, you want to make sure you can get a kill. So I feel like Silas is going to play super aggro. It's a collie. They're both going to be trying to rip each other's heads off. My ward, keeping an eye on that. Make sure Rek'Sai doesn't try to vertical jungle me. The bot lane's all inning over there. Bane got a kill. It's pretty dope. We're going to use our Q to break down this red buff. Mash it every time it's up. Looks like Rek'Sai is over there, unfortunately for them. We're going to go ahead and use our E over the wall. And we're going to start using our potions here in a second. There we go. You actually get more healing from your jungle item if you're below a third HP, so you can maximize your healing through that way. Looks like Rek'Sai probably is gonna end up pushing into my jungle. She got so far over there. That's probably just what's gonna happen. Now you're gonna get your W. If you're going blue cane, you'll actually max W first. Like So after your blue cane, you start putting a lot more points in your W. But red cane, you actually want that Q max down. Got him. Ooh, baby, that was really close. So I still had my flash. He was only level two, and I knew he didn't have ignite. If he had ignite, or if he was on a higher level, I would have flashed away much sooner. He essentially guaranteed his death by fighting that. Now, against their team, yeah, I'm going to get the blue smite. Kane, you have several options. You have red smite, blue smite, and you're always going to be going the uh, for warrior enchantment. So the thing about red smite is, yes, it will make your 1v1s stronger. You'll take a lot less damage and you'll do a little more damage. But with the blue smite, it lets you use your ultimate more effectively because you have to damage them first before you can ult them. So if you're trying to dodge CC or stick on someone easier, you can just blue smite ult. Red smite doesn't damage them until you auto attack them. So blue smite actually synergizes with Kane pretty well. We can gank over the wall here. They're pushed up really far. If you're going to use your W while clearing, it's best against your AoE camps. If you're going to use it against single monster camps, especially early, make sure you weave it in between your auto attacks so you don't cancel an auto. So your W doesn't do that much single target damage. I'm going to blue smite this Ezreal. Auto attack Q. Stay on him. I'm going to hold on to my W. Got him again. Uh, that's a really good double kill for us. You could make the argument I should give it to them, but I know I can carry this game if I get the gold. I'm not going to throw it away. So it's whatever. Kane can hyper carry as well. Now I'm on mostly blue Kane at this point. And you don't really want to go blue Kane if you go conquer. If you're going conquer on Kane, you're actually looking to go red Kane. If you're going to go blue Kane, you want Dark Harvest or Electrocute. Red Kane can play with Electrocute as well, but conquer is the highest win rate. Keystone on Kane because guess what? Red Kane's the stronger Kane. It's by, I should say at least, it's by far safer. You can argue blue Kane can carry harder in the squishies, but look. That bruiser, bruiser, bruiser. And then uh, even Ezreal, he went Grasp and Bard went freaking uh, whatever that's called. He went for uh, Guardian, so it's whatever. So now we're going to clear up. If you don't have any ganks, you can just do a linear full clear. For example, I could have started with my bot on blue, then done Gromp Wolves full clear. That's acceptable too. But if you're playing in anything less than Diamond 1, I do recommend getting out a gank by the time you are level 3 on Kane, if that is an option because people are making lots of mistakes. People are over pushing. We already knew Silas and Macaulay, they're gonna be fighting to the death. It's whatever. So yeah, you can full clear, it's an option. If you, there is no gank, but ideally you get off a gank or two before you're level six. Because you need that essence. Your second form is where the power is. Auto attack Q. And ship this guy away. Kind of kiting out the big one so I don't take as much damage. I have more movement speed, more attack range, so I can drag him around a bit. 
Silas. We want to focus on their melees now. We want to gank Wukong and Silas. If enemies are over pushed up into your turrets, just E over the wall. If he was over pushed here, for example, I could E over this wall. This is a weird spot. This is probably worded. Oh, it's not. That's crazy. I'll E over this one. Get behind him. You really want to get behind people. I blue smite him. Auto attack Q. You can hold on to your W. Use your W when you can't hit them with your autos anymore. When you can no longer auto them, or if they're CC, you hit them with a W. It's a massive slow. But whenever you use it, you have to stand still on red cane or normal cane. So whenever you go to use it, if they juke it, they're going to get away. So you want to make sure when you use your W, you're going to land it. So in that case, after he burnt his flash, or if a collie were to slow him, then I'll smack him with a W. Oh, I want to get some essence off of this Wukong. Oh, wow, Renekton's dead. Actually just got my ulti off of that, though. I'm going to take Rek'Sai's jungle. I see she's bot side. So this is a really good opportunity for me to... What? She hasn't taken... That's her first... The wolves were still level 1, so that means she hasn't taken it yet. A lot of times on Kane, you will focus on the easiest lane to gank. Or whichever lane at the time is the easiest. There's no... Or what essence. For example, I don't want to gank bot because I don't want to get stuck on blue Kane. I'd rather just get more red essence top off of melee so attacking melee champs obviously gives you red essence range is blue blue for blue cane red for red cane and uh in general you want red cane unless every single one of them is a squishy then you want red cane because red cane is just way tankier hit him with that w oh we didn't get it but i got my red essence i'm red cane now baby Got that red cane evolution. About to level up our Pokemon here. And uh, start looking to take some things. Red cane does get a lot of healing as well. Blue cane's a little faster because his E's on such a short cooldown. And he can cast W without slowing down, which is nice. But red cane's where it's at in my mind. Right after you have your warrior, you're going to go for tier 2 boots in your black cleaver. I want to get my red buff before I rush down dragon. So yeah, the nice thing about red cane is your spells heal you for a lot of health. For a lot of the damage that you do. Looks like they just got a dragon. So I do, I heal for 37% of the damage that I do, which is insane. That's essentially 37% life still, basically. Because it's only on my spells, but Kane's mostly his Q damage anyways, because it's on such a short cooldown. So it's, it's pretty nuts, guys. You're probably wondering, well, why didn't you do Golem, Red, Wraps? The only reason why I didn't is because Wukong's shoving, and I feel like I can gank it. If I didn't feel like there was a gank, I would have done Golem's Red, Wraps. I would have been better, but I see this gank here. Feels free to me. Knock him up. He's dead. Once again, don't use your knock up until you know you're going to land it, or you feel very confident that you're going to land it. That sucks. He's only level five. I don't know what she thinks she's gonna do. She does have a. Uh, she does have a uh, red red buff. So I'm gonna go take her blue buff from her. Or take this scuttle crab as well. A lot of times when you gank someone on Kane, you end up going back there over and over since Kane, before he has his red form, he doesn't really have any CC. So a lot of times you're ganking. Oh, this guy doesn't. This guy plays too aggressive. Or oh. My laner's good. So on Kane, especially since you don't have any CC before your second form, you will be ganking the same lane over and over. There's only bot lane. They're so far shoved up. You can eating over this wall. You can get behind them. On Kane, getting behind people is essential because <laughs> you don't have any CC before you you get your second form. Like yeah, if you have a slow, but that's not substantial. Now we're gonna max our W second. We're gonna max our E last. Red Cane, since you heal so much off of your spells, it's pretty big to get more and more points. I have more items than this guy. He's dead. Oh, wow. He's actually alive. He's going to kill her with an auto. I'll stay. I don't know why I call his back. And that's kind of weird. I think I could have ganked that. All right. So at this point, we're going to go for Harold. Ooh, what is this guy doing? He wants to tussle with the muscle. He doesn't have Ignite, and I heal like a mofo. We already talked about that. Yeah, Kane heals like a mofo, guys. Come on now. You can't solo Red Kane. Very few champions who can solo him. You have to be able to cut into his healing. If you don't have Ignite or if you don't have Executioners or Morello, 
Red Cannon heals so much. And you see during that fight, after I used my Q on him, I dipped into the wall real quick to get my healing. Because whenever you dip into walls, you heal a lot. It doesn't matter what cane you're playing. Your E heals you when you go into structures. Turrets, walls, inhibitors. Any kind of structure, you'll it'll heal you. Going to cut this down. And we're going to start to wrap this game up. I've actually been doing a lot of ganking. It's a better way to play Kane. If you only power farm on him, you'll still win a lot of games, but you'll it'll take you so long to get your second form. Just gonna cross over. I don't know why Bard's mid. It's kind of troll. Knock this dude up. Hit him with a Q. He's crazy, man. You can just knock people. If they're in mid dash, you just knock him out of the dash. Like it was obvious he was chasing me. It was worded. I just threw out a W as he's chasing. Knock him right out of it. Ooh, man. Alright. Let's lay our Herald bot side. There's no one to defend it. We want to shave off some plates first. Herald only takes out two and a half plates at a time. And to keep Herald healthy and to get more hits off, we want to shave some plates down first. Shave it down to about two and a half plates. And we'll dump it. Keep getting it lower and lower. And then we'll try to dump it into the next turret. This is how you carry leads, guys, with Heralds and Dragons. Especially Heralds in the early game. Herald is the best early game objective. Yeah, Dragon's okay, but realistically, if you're using Herald properly, you get a lot more value in the early game with the turrets and map pressure. Like, we're going to get a bunch of turrets off that. Those plates are hard to get through, but turret, the Herald does true damage. So using the Herald while there's still turret plates up, which is the first 14 minutes of the game, you get exponential value. Because breaking those plates takes a long ass time without the Herald. Breaking a bunch of plates at once, that is. I don't know if the enemies, I don't think they're AFK, but they're not really defending their stuff right now. Rek'Sai might be AFK. I'm really, really big right now. All right, Dragon's coming up. Ooh, Rek'Sai, yeah, they're not AFK. They're just doing their thing. I'll get, I'll solo Dragon easily. Kane and Red Kane especially can solo objective super easily because you heal up. It's one bad thing about playing, I guess it's only against champions, which is kind of lame, but. And Red Kane can also get away with building things like Death Stance. Blue Kane can build Death Stance, but it's better on Red Kane because of the tankiness aspect. Also, if a champion shows up, if you're low on health on Blue Kane, they'll kill you. Unless you can one-shot them on Red Kane, you can just heal off of them. Clearing on Kane's pretty basic. You pretty much use your Q whenever it's up. And before you have your second form, you only W in between autos if you're fighting a single target camp. If you're fighting raptors or wolves or golems, you'll just use your W to try to hit as many as possible. But against single target camps early on, your W does such little damage. Uh, you only mix it in between auto attacks. Let's get that healing. Bard's over there. Farming up a bit. Our bot lane is a little overexposed. I think that was a little greedy. It might turn out because they're ahead, but it's not worth giving away that shutdown gold. It's just kind of overplaying their hand, going for montage plays. So she just gave away 1,000 gold. Now I'm just going to give away 450. So, yeah, it, it, it happens, especially in a solo queue environment. It's just something you want to try to avoid. If I died, I'd be giving away 1,000 gold too. Side. Yeah, well, I don't know what he's doing. He's just trolling at this point. And this is against platinum players. They're just, I think they're losing hope. Knock him up. Ult him. He's dead. Ooh, almost. Go over the wall. You can go over the skinny part of Raptor Wall. All right, we're safe. We're good. We nearly killed the Wukong. I wanted to flash finish him off. I didn't think Silas was there. A little greedy on my part though. I'm sitting on a lot of gold I need to spend. Go ahead and get my Black Cleaver. I'm gonna get Merc Treads and then I'm gonna build into Death Stance. Death Stance and Black Cleaver work beautifully on Red Kane. The healing aspect, the shred, the tankiness, it just works perfectly with your AD scaling and the whole concept of staying alive for your, for your 
Bell Band Killing. And that's Kane, guys. The Kane buffs were amazing. Kane is now a top 10 jungle champion. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is King6. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.